Hi everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before and if you haven't been here before please subscribe to be a part of the bilingual family which is mostly me attempting to speak English and um, I don't know how that's gonna go <laughs> so as you can see from the title today I wanted to do basically like a fun summer kind of makeup look incorporating anything kind of peach related it's a very warm color it's a very summery color and I was like you know what we're gonna do very simple peach summer makeup look so here we are today and these are the products that we are going to use today and we're gonna just jump right into it i have already prepped my skin with the embryolis le creme concentré which is this one my favorite favorite moisturizer and also the glow hub defend yourself spf 30 and this is a new sunscreen that i have i actually won this in a giveaway from busy shop and like glow hub together and i got it and i've been testing it out and so far I really like it so and then as a bit of a makeup primer I also used uh, this little jar if you've been watching my channel then you know that this is what is left of the glow recipe nice and my uh, watermelon glow dew drops <laughs> yeah this is in my project pen so we're also using this today so all of the sh like juiciness on my skin right now is from these three products and then we're gonna jump right into the base routine so for today i decided to use the nabla skin realist beautifying tinted balm and i have the shade one fair i use it in my full face of nabla and this is like one of my favorite like skin products i really really like it it's and it's very perfect for like summer because it has a little bit of coverage but not too much and it's quite glowy if you combine it with like the proper products underneath oh my god you guys i have to tell you something by the way i have been so into true crime anything at the moment it's actually probably not that great for just like my general well-being but i have been watching like anytime i go on youtube it's basically to watch true crime and i'm probably just one in a million that has decided to do that but it's so just interesting you know yesterday on netflix i watched the girl in the picture and it was not one of the most like gruesome things i've ever seen there have been others where i was like what the fuck is that but it was definitely like a, a kind of mindfuck situation in in a way i was the entire documentary I was like oh so he's her and he's doing this and then at the end it was like oh he's not and she's that I'm, I'm trying not to give in like any spoilers I don't know if you noticed but I thought it was good and the thing with like documentaries a lot of the times is that they make them so dramatic and I don't want that uh, you know I just want sometimes I just want like plain old basic information but like the dramatic suspense music I don't I don't need that you know and then jumping into something completely different I wanted to use the Nabla uh, like realistic skin balm tint I can never remember names today because it's also quite lightweight and it does look like you're not really wearing any kind of makeup you know it's like a really nice lightweight skin tint are you into true crime and like what do you like to watch then for a concealer i'm gonna use the catrice liquid camouflage high coverage concealer because i am trying to empty this one out because then i have another empty and it's a beautiful beautiful concealer that i've been repurchasing for years and years and years and it's like an ideal concealer for summer for winter it's like a tried and true you know there hasn't been a concealer that i have repurchased more than this one and then I'm quickly going to set my under eyes just a tiny bit uh, with the Rare Beauty. I think this is a soft radiance setting powder from Rare Beauty and I have the shade Light. Yeah, I forgot to empty, well, close the stopper. So that's a lot of powder, more than I need. I'm just going to take my Real Techniques setting brush and take some of that powder and really work it into the brush. And you have like minimal product. And I'm just going to go underneath the eyes only and maybe a little bit on the chin but we're gonna use some cream products later okay and then we're gonna start on the like more peachy base products so the first thing that i'm actually gonna do is apply a little bit of this blush this is the kaisa's velvet melon blush in the shade color and uh in the shade velvet melon i wanted to say coloring cream and i wanted to use this blush because it's like a very like warm peach but not too warm where it like looks brown and not too pink where it's like pink you know and i'm just gonna take my finger 
and we're gonna apply that. And I just find this insanely pretty, which is also why I hit pan on it quite a while ago actually. And it's such a summery like color, like a summery product. And it's just perfect for the look that I have in mind. Bronzer, I'm gonna take something that is a little bit lighter, a little bit more sheer. So I'm actually gonna use a powder and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the shade Light. Huge pan on it and I love it. And I'm gonna take my Nabla Cheek Chafer and we're just gonna tap this onto the skin first because we haven't applied like powder here. So if we go like with wiping motions, it could be that it like disturbed or moves the foundation a little bit and it can create a, like a patchy look. So we're gonna stamp it on first and this is gonna give it a, just a, a touch of something. And then when we are done like patting, when you feel like you have sufficiently patted, you can start wiping a little bit and blending it or diffusing it out a little bit more. Then for highlighter, I wanted to use something that was very, very skin-like and almost like just not tacky, but very like liquidy. So I decided to go with the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Elevated Glow in the shade Cosmic Rose. This is just a very unique like formula and I really like it because it is like so thin and so liquidy. This is like what it looks like on just my hand and you apply it and it's just the most stunning thing you have ever seen. So very carefully with two fingers tapping this on the skin. Don't apply this with a brush because I feel like because of the wetness it could like lift your foundation off and I also like to apply some of this on the nose because it just gives it that glistening look. Love love that product and now it is time to move on to the eyes. For the eyes I've decided to go with my Beauty Bay Love Notes palette which is this palette right here and it has like a really nice like peachy tone in it but this is the shade Flush and it is just a beautiful like flush color and right next to it is the shade Bellini this one right here and it is absolutely gorgeous highly reflective and it is like that really nice peachy color like that Bellini color so I'm gonna use that okay so love 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 that product as you can see I have a little bit of pink on my eye my camera shut off and I don't know where it stopped <laughs> but we're gonna use the Beauty Bay Love Notes palette which is this one right here and I'm gonna use the shade Flush which is this like really nice pinky color but it's it's also like a really, it has like a nice undertone of like orange so it comes out a little bit more peach on the eyes. And then right next to it we have the shade Bellini which is like a beautiful like Bellini color like the name says. Um, so this one right here. I'm going to take a brush, this is just a fluffy brush and I'm going to dip that into the shade Flush. And I'm going to put it all over the lid first. So just stamping it onto the eyelid making sure we have like a nice even layer on it all right and then once it's all over like the eyelid we're gonna start and blend it out to the crease and make it like i said that more blown out look and you want to keep like a kind of rounded shape so you don't want to go too much like this but more like keeping it on the outer corner and keeping it rounded i just broke my brush <laughs> Okay, and once we have that, I'm gonna take the shade Bellini just on my finger and just look how gorgeous this is. And I'm gonna put that into like the center of the eyeball. And this is just absolutely beautiful because it is just so stunningly peach. And then with a fluffy brush that I just repaired, you kind of want to blend out the edges ever so slightly. And then I'm gonna take this uh, Super Shock Shadow from Colourpop and this is in the shade Mighty Morphin and it's basically like like a very 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 light peach and I'm gonna take that again on my finger and this is more of like a topper shade it's not as opaque and again I'm just gonna apply that all over the eyeball and this is giving it like a little bit of lightness this color that I just really really like and then as a final touch I'm again taking that brush and just very slightly blending out the edges. So that is all that we're going to do to the eyes. So now I'm going to apply some lash roller, lash color to my eyeballs and also the e.l.f. Big, Big Mood Mascara is uh, the mascara that we're going to use today. 
So now we're gonna do the lips. So for lip liner, I have chosen the Nabla Lip Shaper because it is, first of all, in my project pen, but also just a lip liner that pairs well with any kind of lip shade that you put on top. And I also really wanted to use it for today because it's a, like a really nice contoury shade. And then I'm just gonna line my lips in a very natural way. So a little bit on top of the like Cupid's bow. And then on the bottom, just slightly okay so that's it a very neutral kind of lip liner shade and then for lipstick i decided to go with the kid mischief or i still don't know how to pronounce this word but it's on the screen and this is from lisa eldridge and when you look at it it's not really like a peachy shade it looks more pink but when you apply it to the lips quite lightly it will come out like looking like a really nice like warm kind of peachy shade which is really nice at, at least on my skin tone it does and also i've noticed that i don't have like a true peach color in my lipstick collection so that is probably something that i want to fix in the future because i really do like peaches <laughs> so that is the lipstick uh these are the eldritch lipsticks by the way absolutely gorgeous and then for gloss i just i just have to use this i just I just had to. So this is the LA Colors Lip Oil in the shade Tangerine Twist. I mean, look at this. This is like my peachy, orangey dreams. I actually um, purchased this because it was in the sale and I think it was very, very cheap. I've been using it since and it is such a beautiful like lip gloss oil. It's very thin on the lips, but it feels extremely moisturizing and it does last a, quite a long time on the lips for like a gloss, like the wearability is quite nice. It's a very sheer color, but it definitely has a tint to it, uh, which is just going to make this even more gorgeous. I mean, look at that. And then as a final step to this makeup routine, I also have this Essence Hello Good Stuff Happy Bliss Face Spray. I mean, just a perfect peach product to just end this video with and it's quite energizing and like refreshing so I like it for that as well the sun is coming out but here we go I'm thirsty mm, refreshing so guys this is the full-on it's a very simple peach makeup look juicy and gorgeous <laughs> but anyway this is the final look with the peachy products that we use today i'm absolutely obsessed i think this is very very gorgeous and i want to go out like this and i am obsessed with how glossy and juicy my lips look i mean that la colors gloss is just get your hands in on it it is so so incredibly good i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you try it out and tag me maybe on instagram with at peculiar line and i really hope you enjoyed today's video thank you so so much for watching i really just enjoy the fact that some people take you know their time to actually watch me i'm just so grateful and it means a lot so thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video bye so this is the look that we're gonna create today keep on watching